everybody, I'm Arlene van Rooyen and with me today I have Jeremy Stewart, the owner of Seamless Flooring and Quartz Carpets. Um, Jeremy, can you explain to us a little bit about the relationship between Seamless Flooring and Quartz Carpets? Yeah, absolutely. Morning Marlene and, and your uh, listeners. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, Seamless Flooring Systems, the company has been in existence for uh, 18 years now. The, the company itself has two divisions. One is the seamless stone flooring division, which is the quartz carpet division. And the other division is the play safe division. The play safe division is our playground safety and sports tracks, athletics tracks uh, division. Um, inside that we have SBR uh, rubber, we have interlocking tiles, we have EPDM floors, and we have new products, uh, Spectra, which is uh, colored rubber granules. And on the quartz carpet side, that is a brand that um, it's an international brand. It's in uh, on all five continents, mm -hmm. uh, in 60 countries worldwide. Uh, we started uh, yeah, 18 years ago with the quartz carpet brand. Uh, as in eight, uh, yeah, 2018, we had sold 1 billion square meters of quartz carpet in sub-Saharan Africa. Wow. Um, it, yeah, that which is we, we're quite proud of. Um, I mentioned we're in sub-Saharan Africa, we're in uh, several uh, African, sub-Saharan African countries and of course in South, and the Indian Ocean Islands and in, in South Africa itself. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you want to tell me, if, I, if you want me to tell you a little bit about quartz carpet itself, the, the Yes, product. I think so. Is it, is it a residential? So when I think carpet, I think like broad loom, I think carpet tiles, tufted. The, yes, explain to me a little bit about the product and also is it for residential or commercial and where would I apply this typically? Okay, sure, sure. Okay, sure. It's, it is residential. It's residential. It's the hospitality industry, commercial, institutional, also for landscaping. We do a lot of spas as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it really go, goes everywhere. It's, it's, it's found a name for itself amongst uh, specifiers, being uh, designers, interior designers, architects, um, the, uh, developers, those, those kind of people. And um, yes, it's, it's done extremely well um, for us. It's, it's quite granular. It's, it's smooth, but it's quite granular. Is it easy to clean and keep clean? Yes, yes. Okay, so what it, what it basically is, is it's imported glacial stone. We bring it in from, from Belgium. Right. It's uh, the, stone, the stone itself. The, 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 I suppose the biggest um, value add is the, is the type of stone that we use in the system. So the stone itself measures an 8 out of 10 on the Mohs scale of hardness. Right. Um, it is alluvial stone, so it's not crushed stone. Um, there are a lot of local companies in South Africa that uh, would call themselves opposition, but they used a crushed stone that's, say, off of a mine or something where it's, it's filled with cracks and fissures and it's sharp and angular, etc., etc. It's got no strength. Okay. Um, so the, the, the stone we use is, is certified uh, in an ISO plant. Uh, we, we bring it in in, in containers. Um, we have a, a plant in Cape Town and we color, um, we have a coloring plant and we color with a uh, polyurethane system and our, all of our stone is 100% UV stable. Our resins are UV stable. We use um, epoxies internal and we use a, a polyurethane system outside. So essentially what it is, it's taking a colored alluvial uh, aggregate, mixing it with resin um, in pre-weighed out uh, formulas and then applying it to the floor with a trial. Um, okay. we, we operate with installers. We have presently about 150 uh, quartz carbon installers in sub-Saharan Africa. These are trained by ourselves and they, they're uh, going to the field in their respective regions and they apply the quartz carpet in, in their areas. All right. And you have to be an approved applicator to install this. This isn't something that anybody can come off a bucky and just come and apply it with a trial. There are companies that do that. Um, we are very proud to say that in our 18 years of, bus 18 years of business, we have yet to sell one single square meter of material to any company that has not undergone our extensive two or three day uh, quartz carpet training courses. Um, we are always looking for new installers. We, in fact, uh, we took the decision last year. We, in fact, at one point, we, for many, many years, we actually installed ourselves. Um, last year, we pulled out of the, the, the installation um, industry mm -hmm. and we only supply, we manufacture and supply product to installers, but we're always looking for new installers to train. And we have training courses in Johannesburg and in Cape Town. So okay. if anyone wants to come to the training courses, they're welcome to contact myself and in, enroll in a course. They're free. We don't charge for training. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's it. And is there a warranty on this? Yeah, there's a two-year standard international warranty. 
um, on the quartz carpet floors. Although obviously they're designed to last 10 years plus. Okay, and the PlaySafe. So the PlaySafe brand, um, can you show us, if you've got a brochure that you can show us what the PlaySafe brand looks like so people can uh, just recognize it. And also some of okay. the colors. Okay, I'll show, I do. I've got the, this is the standard uh, uh, PlaySafe brochure we've got. Um, mm -hmm. It's in the story brochure. Um, it's, uh, it's a lot of products in there, it's 40 odd pages. That, if you, I don't know if you can see that. Yes. That, that's is it available playground. digitally as well? It's, excuse me? Is it available digitally, the PlaySafe brochure? Yes, on our, it's on the website. So it's on the PlaySafe. So it's www.playsafe.africa. Um, and it's, it's also on the seamlessflooring.co.za website. Wonderful. Um, all the information is on there uh, with photographs. Um, critical fall heights. Okay. Which, in other words, which which uh, rubber tile to pair with which uh, from where a, ch a child could fall on, possibly a piece of playground equipment. Right. And there's uh, color ranges there. And then as you go through this, these are the interlocking tiles themselves. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, and then there's also accessories that go with it. So there's also very funky colored floors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, yeah. So that is available on the website. Um, that's another range where we do training in Cape Town and Johannesburg. It's a very simple, it's almost a DIY range. And okay. that is just a, a one day training course for the, to install the, the, the PlaySafe uh, rubber tiles. And then we, in the quartz carpet course, what we do is another part of the PlaySafe division is the um, wet pour rubber. So we, we either use SBR, which is a recycled rubber on its own, mixed with resin, a polyurethane resin, either mm -hmm. aromatic or aliphatic. Uh, mixed together and trialed onto the floor and that would be a playground floor so that's the SBR floor right. then uh, one step from that would be the SBR floor as the uh, cushion layer and then an okay. EPDM uh, which is the wear layer right. and then the latest product that we're bringing out uh, in the next uh, two months yeah. um, is our Spectra rubber where we've taken SBR rubber and through our colouring process in our colouring plant in Cape Town yes. we have managed to colour the SPR rubber, which is black tire, a truck tire, and we've colored in, into a range of colors. I think we've got 24 colors, bright, uh, funky colors for playgrounds. And the great thing about that range of colors is it comes in at less than half the price of the EPDM imported. Wow. Uh, yeah, so and that, that's, it's recycled tires, okay. so it's obviously very green. It's very green. It's, it's SPR, otherwise it would end up in landfill. Yes. We're taking the SPR rubber and we actually use putting it to use on children's playgrounds and protecting the, the children, yes, correct. And you've done numerous projects, but one that I'm very fascinated by and that I really enjoyed was the world first you had recently with FNB. So tell us more, a little bit more about that. We also featured it on the cover of Floors, but that's a spectacular project and a world first. Well done. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, we, we got a lot of commendations around the world on that project. Um, in fact, I was in uh, Germany in November last year at a, at a conference. Uh, there must have been over 300 odd people from around the world um, that were in the similar industry to, uh, to ourselves. And uh, they actually showed the video, the five minute video of the Bank City Precinct uh, video. And um, after that, I was inundated for the next two days with people wanting to know how, why, uh, you know, basically how we did it. Um, it was a world first on yeah se several uh, fronts. Uh, firstly, the EPDM had never been placed on a vertical surface before. We not only did stairs, but we did planter boxes. We did we did it um, a lot. We, we we used a lot of our quartz carpet technology uh, in the laboratory to actually change it and, and use it for rubber as well. But um, it was about a, a three thousand square meter job um, in the center of, of Johannesburg. We used a two to six millimeter EPDM rubber. Uh, we laid the floor at 15 millimeters over asphalt. Um, it was previously, it was a very somber looking area and Bank City wanted to re-energize re, um, the area, and breathe new life into the precinct yes. and boost the retail area. So they've put in new restaurants in there and it really is a fantastic area. It's actually, I believe, part of the Red Bus Tour now in Johannesburg, which is fantastic. Wonderful. Yes. And the colors were the colors customized for client. I know that um, the client's not, not, a, not necessarily very easy. They have a very, very high standard that they needed um, the product delivered. Well, correct. We were extremely fortunate to work uh, with Bob van Beber and Donnie Marcraft uh, from Buchetman and Partners Architects. 
and they designed the the colors and the color scheme and the and the various mixes for the verticals and the horizontals and they you know from the it was actually a great tool um um should I say a, a construction team right, with, with Jason Fontonda from Metron Projects and all the way through everyone involved in the project to, you know to help us from start to finish and for us to finish it we actually finished it another uh, we, we were given nine weeks to finish the project um, we actually ended up finishing it in five weeks four weeks ahead of schedule which is pretty wow. unknown in in the construction industry too. That is before. unheard of and the cost yeah. training for clients obviously is enormous yeah, well, they were able to trade um, a lot quicker, which saved them a lot of money. So uh, we, we helped in our little way there. We worked weekends. We, we drank lots of coffee on the job as well. We <laughs> stayed awake. We worked very hard. Well, I've been there, and I can tell you it is an absolutely, absolutely amazing place. And to see how people interact with it. We were there, obviously, towards the end of construction. But to see how people yeah. are engaging and interacting with that space now, it's just so different. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Different Oh. Then I want to ask you, Tiki, you did an article for the Tools magazine around the topic of obviously we're in COVID-19, obviously we're in lockdown. Um, this has had an enormous effect on the flooring industry. And you actually spoke to us a little bit about that. If you want to expand on how you see this, the impact of this, obviously COVID-19, but also the, the actual lockdown on the flooring industry and on your business. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of us businesses, we're not essential businesses. I think there are a few uh, flooring companies that actually are trading at the moment just because they are in the hygiene uh, industry um, of putting down hygienic floors. Um, my article was largely around coronavirus, yes, but also how as, a, as an industry, the flooring industry, how we can help to make the flooring industry get through the tough times and actually work together. Mm -hmm. And I think the underlying um, reason or the underlying what we can do as an industry is to support local businesses and not just do the first thing and buy from China and all these other countries. You know, yes. yes, we buy a few products from overseas, but only because they're not available in South Africa. Right. But for the majority, we support South African products anyway. And I think most companies going forward should actually start supporting lo our, our, the, the local industry. Also, you know, it inspires a confidence in the, in the entre entrepreneurial companies who are wanting to start new ranges of themselves. It also helps to identify gaps in the market, new opportunities in the market. Um, and obviously at the most basic level, when we buy South African flooring materials, uh, more money stays in our local economy. Uh, we have a velocity of money, which means that the circulation speed uh, moves around, the, 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 the currency moves around a lot quicker, passes, the money passes through the hands, more people benefit from it. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's that's the thing. You know, listening this morning just to, to the to TV on the Reserve Bank and how the Reserve Bank I think can help us a lot more is yes. they have to help start uh, getting the economy ticking over. Uh, they need to stimulate the economy after lockdown. Um, after lockdown, it's going to be survival of the fattest, the big multinational companies uh, and the companies with the deepest pockets. Um, expectations from all of us in the industry are largely unknown at this point in time, um, and. You know, large these large ma mature companies are very cash flush and what I see happening is that they're going to start buying up the smaller companies the companies with the weak balance sheets and wow. um, it's going to I think what it's probably going to end up doing is lowering the level of competition in the market which is either a good thing or a bad thing but that, that's my take on, on, on the coronavirus and the foreign industry per se. Okay. Then some exciting news you say you are launching new products that's wonderful yeah. to hear. I love it. So Always. tell us a little bit more about that. You've been busy. Right. Okay. Yeah. We've been very busy. We've actually been busy for about two years. Um, it's a pity this coronavirus got in the way because we literally, some of the products are already launched. Some of them were coming to the market at this period in time. Yeah. Um, the, the, the biggest uh, product range at the moment, and there's a website for it, which is a Spectra Granules. Um, which is taking our coloring knowledge and taking it to other products. So we've got ranges, uh, Spectra Quartz, which is in the market, which is we, what we do is we color aggregates. So we uh, say, let's just say 0.4 to 0.8 and one to, uh, 0 0.8 to 1.2 stone. We've got 40 um, single colors and we've got 40 blends of colors. We Ooh. supply that aggregate directly to the actual, the, the, um, the resin manufacturing companies themselves. 
So the multinationals we supply directly to, they take those products that either mix and make their own ranges or they take our pre-manufactured um, blends for them. So that's, that's an exciting one. Then we also for the, the play industry or the sports industry, we do infill, which is Spectra infill. This is a FIFA um, um, infill uh, rubber. It's SBR rubber that we've colored to green. And that is in every single sports pitch that you'll see, whether it be a FIFA pitch or a rugby pitch, which is this artificial turf, a dash turf, the infill. Then, uh, so those are, those are pretty much launched at the moment. Then we have a Spectra mulch, which is mulch as you would use in a garden. Yes looks identical to wooden mulch uh, um, but it's rubber that we've colored and it looks as i say we've colored it to brown, shades of browns and greens um, and that is a, it's a billion dollar industry in the united states it's never been seen in south africa before so we're starting that range that's very much a landscaping range that can be sold either loose lay or as a wet pool floor and uh, another range is as i mentioned earlier is t is coloring clay granules so that's um so two to four millimeter rubber, uh, coloring it into bright colors, orange, pinks, greens, etc., etc. So your granule, your rubber granules is colored, it's coated, and that is mixed with resins and put on a playground. So you okay. get a bright, colorful playground floor and for about half the price of an EPDM floor. So, wow. Um, wow. And then wow. other, uh, other products on the quartz carpet side is glow in the dark. So we've uh, introduced a, a range of glow in the dark, which glows eight to ten hours uh, whenever we do glow in the dark we've, we've got polymer chips with it with it's not actually a stone the entire um, chip is um, it's a polymer with uh, uh, pigmented uh, photoluminescent pigments in it okay um yeah and glass we do spectra glass as well which is colored uh, glass yeah there's lots of stuff that's brilliant that's absolutely fantastic, that's absolutely fantastic. so where can people hear more about it where can they contact you all right, I'll, um, our, our phone number, I'll give you our phone number first, is 021-762-8617. We're based in Cape Town, our head office, but we are national. We also have an office in Johannesburg. Um, and our website is www.seamlessflooring.co.za. And if you go into Seamless Flooring, you'll see the brands are in there, the Spectra brand, the Quartz Carpet brand, the Playset brand. And it's all in there. Um, and if you need any information or samples, you just contact the office. We'll send you the samples, especially in light with the uh, coronavirus. Um, I'm not sure going forward how many architects and designers are, are really going to be wanting to see um, uh, specification reps visiting their offices, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of this uh, going forward, we need to rethink how we do business. And I think samples going forward will be in the, in the place of using courier companies to deliver, deliver samples, etc., brochures, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's wonderful that you're bringing out all of these these products. We will also list the details. Um, but Jeremy, I want to say thank you very much for joining us on Spec Expo. And we know that you're in this issue of Floors and you'll be in the next issue of Floors in Africa as well. This issue hits the streets on Friday for a good weekend read, keeping you educated, edified. And Jeremy, once again, thank you so much. And looking forward to all of these products that's coming out. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.